so today I am going to give a quick video uh, showcasing uh, my bike and some of the stuff that I've done to my bike and then you can watch along while I swap out uh, some of the gear uh, in my bike so you can see what I carry in my bike on a normal basis. Uh, we're going to a slight change of seasons right now so you know things will change as it gets cooler or warmer. So I'll just kind of show you what I'm intending to put on there now. But I'll just do a quick wrap around. So this is my bike. It is a Vespa Sprint 150 Racing 60s edition. Let me just close the seat. Uh, so you can see it has the the racing stripes. I added the racing stripes to there. It's got stripes on the side and on the front, on the front fender. And I also added stripes to my helmet. And there they are again on the side. Uh, so a few things that I've done to the bike. Uh, it did not come stock with the uh, carrier in the back the hard case, top case. Uh, so this is something that I did have to order to have it added uh, to the bike. You do have to put the correct carrier underneath for it. Um, it originally just had a regular grab bar for it. Uh, some other mods that I've done, I did add the short uh, tinted or smoked fly screen. So this is the short version and it is from Vespa. I do like it quite a bit. I like this height. Um, oh, uh, the bike used to come with these little signal pods that were underneath on either side because when you have a bike, a foreign bike shipped to the US, they have to have the signals at a particular distance from each other on the fenders. So the front and the rear had them. The rear ones were attached right about there. Um, I hated them. I'll show them to you in a minute. Uh, so I removed them. I, they actually sell a kit from Scooter West that allows you to remove those pods and to put, uh, turn, basically turn these, which would have been dead lights, uh, into signal light, light. So I can actually show you, and it does the same with the front ones. So you can see here, those now signal and the ones in the front now signal, which they weren't did not before. They just kind of stayed on at a constant rate. So I'll turn that off and it does beep as well. Um, the other thing I did add, and I probably should have left that on so I should, could show you, is this add more uh, light strip here. So I'll turn the signal on again so you can see that. So this is great. I really love the way that that functions. Um, it also has an app that you can use that will allow you to uh, turn that into a hazard marker. So if you ever have to be pulled over on the side of the road, um, you can have hazards. So that is also a cool function of, uh, of those lights. So uh, I think what I'll do now, I already took the pet carrier out. Let me turn my bike off so I don't kill the battery. And actually I can open the top case. And one of the first things I did was I actually made extra keys for the bike. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of stuff in here that needs to come out. I actually made a bunch of keys for the bike so that way I could um, always have backup keys with me. So I have keys in each of the backpacks that I ride with. Uh, and that way, no matter what, I'll always have keys. So here's just a few things I have. Um, let me grab these things. These things belong with the GPS. I'm just gonna pull those out. So, uh, just a few things I have currently in 
the top case. I have some rain repel. Uh, as I do ride in the morning sometimes where it can be a little misty or rainy. I'm gonna take these rags out so I can fold those and put those back in. I do carry a uh, slime kit in case, God forbid, I'm on the road and I have a flat. I do also have this anti-fog cleaner again for those mornings when I'm riding and it's not the greatest. I do carry a small first aid kit um, and I also do carry this helmet uh, cleaner and polish. And this cap goes on here. Let me put that back. Uh, in addition, let me get these uh, zip ties out, although I think I'm going to put them back in because one should always have some zip ties around. I also do keep this spray cleaner and polish in my bike. I hate a dirty bike, uh, so I am constantly using that to clean things up. And then this, which is an essential that everyone uh, should have. Uh, this is a uh, basically like a tire uh, air filler. So it has the little piece in here that you take out and connect in order to fill your tires. So everyone should have, should have that. Uh, you set the pressure and run that. So let me turn that off. But I do also have on my bike, I do have these, um, which are like a tire pressure monitoring system. I have them on both, on both tires. So that is always there. So these are definitely items that I keep in here uh, at all times. And these things pretty much never leave my top case. So those are pretty standard for my top case. So I can close that up because that's going to stay that way. Or actually, you know what? I'll leave it open because I may add a couple things to it. All right. So I'm just going to show you a few of the things that I have uh, on the table here. I'm going to show you a couple things. I'm going to put those away and then I'm going to empty out the pet carrier here and organize that. Um, so the few things that I wanted to show you, um, I wanted to show you this. Uh, this is the box for that light bar and it's the light bar pro and I recommend the pro because it does have the app so that you can change things like you can change how the brake lights work how the signals work all of that stuff so I definitely recommend the pro version this I got from Scooter West um, Vespa Motorsports out in San Diego watch robots videos I have learned so much from him uh, and how to do a lot of this stuff, how to install many of these things. I also got the kit to switch over those signals uh, from Scooter West. And these are the old, the old signals, uh, the pods are in here, but it's the Euro lighting kit that you can order from Scooter West. And that will allow you to get rid of those pods if you have a Primavera or a Sprint. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is this, and I'll get more into depth with this soon. Uh, this is my GPS. I have the Garmin Zumo XT2. I love it. It has way more functionality than I currently use. I do need to learn a little bit more about it and work with it a little bit more so I can use all of its functionality. Uh, but I do find it to be super awesome. So, all right, let me put this stuff away and then I'll have a little bit more room to kind of show you the other stuff. Okay, so I cleared off the table a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to, I folded these up. I think I'm going to move those over to the bike now. So that way they are in there. This is like my bin of stuff that I keep in the garage. Um, things like other gloves. Uh, there's other helmet. There's another helmet in there, I think. Um, a few other things that are in there, things that I don't use year round, things that I kind of swap out. So I like kind of keeping items in a bin that I can just take in and out things as I need them. And the majority of the stuff that I use 
ends up in the case that goes underneath the seat, uh, sometimes called the pet carrier because somebody had to add this sticker that says no pets. So it's affectionately called the pet carrier. So let me just pull out some of the things I have. I do wear these uh, Oakley glasses to ride. Um, I like how big they are and that they fill the opening when I have my visor open almost all the way except for my nose. So I actually keep two pairs of them. Oh, let me see if I can open this other one. I keep the white ones there that have a little bit of a lighter lens that I can ride most, most of the day. Um, and then I keep these black ones um, more for like riding when it's like right after sunrise and right after sunset. So I have, like I said, two pairs of those. So those definitely stay. Um, these are the newest gloves that I got. These are street and steel. I got these from uh, Cycle Gear over here in Rhode Island. And I like these because they have like a lining, a little bit of a thinsulate lining. So they've been keeping me pretty warm on those cooler days, but they're not overkill. Uh, I do have a nice balaclava from Turtle Fur. And this is great on those cold mornings and cold days uh, because I do ride even when it's cold. Oops, that fell. Uh, this I'm getting rid of or I might just put it in my backpack as an extra. Um, this I was trying to use to charge my GPS because it's flat and the GPS cord has to get closed into the glove box. So I wanted a flatter one, but it's terrible, so bye. Uh, these are my other leather gloves. And these are actually the first gloves that I bought when I was just learning to ride and didn't really realize that my gloves were too big. Um, but they have a little bit more protection on the knuckles. So I kind of just keep those around because these are actually a little bit cooler than these other ones with the lining. Uh, now these ones are more of like my winter gloves. These are great. These are uh, Revit brand. Um, don't really know what model they are, but they are a gauntlet style and they're great in the winter, but no longer winter. So those are gonna go back in the bin. Uh, this is my grip lock. This attaches on um, the uh, brake. I usually, I put this on the left brake and it kind of locks it in place so the bike can't be moved. That stays in. Um, these I get, you can get quite dirty uh, riding. Uh, so I keep these face cloths um, on me so that way I can just wipe my face. It just feels so much better when you can just do that. So I highly recommend keeping a package of these around. So these are feeling a little bit dry. I'm probably gonna pull one out later and make sure that they still feel good and work. So uh, this is a little sunglasses. This is actually the sunglass bag from my one of my pairs of sunglasses, but I actually use it to carry all of these extra cords and things. Um, so I keep those in there just to try to keep things a little bit more organized. Uh, this is my bag of various tools that I would use. I'm going to be pulling one of those out later because I'm removing that disgusting ram mount that I have on that I don't want anymore. Uh, this is my disc brake lock. Um, so this orange cord goes onto the handlebar just to remind you that it's connected to this. And this connects, uh, basically locks onto <clears throat> your front disc brakes and goes, there's a little lock that comes down and it actually goes through one of the holes that's in your brakes. So that stays in. Uh, these are to clean my glasses, so that will stay in. This is my gas rag. So I keep this rag in my bike in case I spill gas while filling up. Rock straps. I cannot say enough good things about rock straps. If you do not have rock straps in your bike, get them immediately. Like these have been the things that have been keeping my GPS from falling before I got the new mount. Um, I had to use rock straps to keep them up. So get yourself some rock straps. Uh, this is my little portable speaker. 
that I keep in there for when I might be going on a picnic or something, meeting with friends, uh, just so we have a little music. I should probably charge that. I haven't done it in a while. Uh, and then very important, when you're out, you see it says bugs and sun. You need to keep yourself protected from the bugs and the sun. So in here, I have some bug spray and I should have my, oh no, you know what? I moved my sunscreen to my backpack. So my sunscreen is actually my backpack because I didn't want sunscreen sitting under the bike. Um, so I moved that out. And then the only other thing that I have in here, there's some random things that I got to pull out. And then I have, oh, how'd that get over there? So this is my adapter for my card. I should probably keep that safe. And then for some reason, there's some random little items over here that I'm going to pull out. Oh, and then my registration insurance is back there. So that's it for now. I'm going to organize all this stuff a little bit better and then put it all back. And then I will show you anything new that I add to it. But basically everything that I left on this table is going back in uh, and including the GoPro bag and some of that DJI, DJI stuff is going back in there as well. So I'm going to stop the video for now, do a little bit of cleaning, and then come back and show you everything and I'll let you know if and what I added additional to the bike. Okay, see you soon. All right, so I got the bike loaded up again. I'll go over there in a second, but I forgot to show you all of these. Um, so this is the wrench I use uh, for things like uh, doing my oil changes and stuff. I have the 24 millimeter um, bit for that. Um, it does angle because sometimes you do have to get in there at a really weird angle for it. My brother actually got me this from Snap-on. So if you know someone who can get tools from Snap-on, that ratchet is great. Um, I also have this kit. These don't go on the bike. These stay home. Um, I have other things on the bike that could be that could be used in the toolkit. Uh, so this here is just a cobalt set. Uh, it has all the various uh, torque um, Torx keys, all the Allen wrench options, regular screwdriver and such, a couple of sockets there. Uh, so it just has a variety of things. I don't have too much in the way of tools here, but I have pretty much any tool you could think of. And then, like I said, my brother, he does all this stuff. So he's helped out quite a bit. So I'm going to run over to the bike so you can see how things look. So back here. Got it nice and organized. First aid kit, towels, cleaner, air compressor, other cleaners, my uh, tire kit. And then in here, I don't know how well you can see that, um, but it's pretty neat now. I actually decided to take out my cooler weather gloves because it's getting quite warm in here. It's going to be like probably close to 60 today. Um, so I'm going to keep that. I've got some of my stuff from my camera microphone in here my glasses I actually clean the glasses um, but that's pretty much it under there that is nice and clean um, and then oh the, the one thing I didn't show I do have these and this is actually a solar powered uh, battery bank charger so I keep one of these with me at all times uh, anytime I, you know, head anywhere, I know I'm going to be in some sun. I just set it out to charge and I can use it for various things. Right now I'm using it to charge up my GoPro, which it kind of died. Um, but one of the things I need to do today is actually go ahead and get another card for the GoPro because I took the one out of there and I'm using it in the new camera and that's not going to work. So I'd like to start using two cameras, uh, one facing towards me and then the one on the helmet. Uh, and that is actually the helmet, the chin mount that I use. And it's from chinmounts.com. Uh, and there's my GPS. You can see the cord goes into the box there. And I did actually find another cord that I had used before that's a little bit more um, powerful. So I think I'm going to swap out this one for this one because that'll be flatter. So uh, let me do these few little things and then we'll head out for a ride.
I was able to get most of the things I needed at the store, but they didn't have everything. Uh, the one thing I was looking for was that Hot Wheels is now making a, um, a Vespa and it's a little red, like older, older model one. <clears throat> so I was hoping to get one of those. But unfortunately, they did not have one. So, let me just do one thing here. I'm just going to slam this down so I can sync up that video. I'm running the GoPro. pointed at me to see how that goes because ideally I would really love to be able to run multiple camera angles so I figure I'll get the the chin mounted DJI and then get the other one Uh, the GoPro on the mirror stem. So we shall see. How this goes. Um, this will be a first trying to run two cameras. So we'll play around with that and see see how it goes. Um, but I was able to get the memory card at the store. I was able to get the couple of grocery items that I needed. I knew it, there was a few more things I think I needed grocery-wise, but I forgot to take a picture of the shopping list on my way out the door. So I got the couple of things I knew I needed. Um, and then texted my husband to see what it was he had added to the list and he couldn't remember anything but wanted blueberry egos so <laughs> so I got him some blueberry egos and I got me some a uh, couple of the things that I needed for my breakfast my spinach and cheese because I'll need that for the morning um, yeah so I was able to also get the card for the for the GoPro so I've got that running because um, I'd really like to be able to run both I'm not so sure about the angle I don't like the angle that that one's at so I may have to make some adjustments to that one at some point I'll see how the video comes out um, normally I was using the GoPro it is a 360 camera so normally I was using that for a 360 view um, but honestly I, uh, I said it before I'm not a fan of the GoPro just have not liked it thus far uh, hence why I changed to the DJI action 4 uh, and so far I'm really really liking what's going on with this camera and the mic especially being able to use that however I would love to be able to get some use out of the GoPro so if I can get it to work well pointed you know at me while this one's pointing away then you know I'll feel like at least I didn't waste the money um, you know and the view of me is not as important I really do not care uh, but it's nice to kind of switch up the camera angles from time to time so I think to have the option of being able to show the other view from 
the GoPro, I think, will be nice to just give a little bit more variety. So that's kind of why where I'm at. I mean, I spent the money on the camera. The camera's paid for. I need to figure out how I can make it work. So this will this is the test. This will be you know how I'm thinking I might want to use it. So I'll uh, I'll give that a shot today and see how it goes. So I'm heading down this way. I'm just going to take Route Two. Basically, almost, it goes almost all the way to where I turn in to head to my, you know, where I live, my part of town. So I'm going to uh, basically just follow this road through. May stop at some point to get a coffee if I feel like it, but honestly, I kind of just want to go home. 